Welcome back to the Take a Sip podcast. My name is Tito. And I'm Leche. And as always, <laughs> Leche, what are you sipping on this week? I got a lot. I'm going to keep it front with everyone. I forgot to get something to drink today. <laughs> and you were too lazy beer. still. That too. I could have gone <laughs> like straight up. I literally have my little bar right there and everything. Just man, the hassle of making a drink right now. I'm just drinking some water, dude. What about you? What about yourself? That's fine. Sometimes you need to cleanse. Um, <laughs> I actually drank this a couple weeks ago too, and I liked it so much. I got a few more. Uh, the Yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. What? Yeah. You got more of those? Oh shit! <laughs> I know. I was surprised too when I said I want more. Bro, that's crazy. It's so good. You're glad this fucker actually I suggested it. Yeah, recommended it to you. Yeah, like, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna like them that much, dude. Yeah, I mean, me either. Don't get me wrong. Maybe yeah. I just need to try it again. You know? like I think so. Stuff. It was it was just a weird day when you did come over and you did try it. So mm. yeah, hopefully, like with another extra little fresh palate type of thing yeah yeah when i'm thirsty when i'm quenched <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> you got plenty of water to to drink and and be less thirsty <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> all right folks but for this week we'll try to see how long this episode actually goes we didn't really find much news that we were both very interested in um but the few things that we do have i feel like we could talk a little bit about so it might be a shorter episode but we also believe that next week might be a little bit of a longer episode because there is a lot of news coming out um i know we could have talked about a lot about some nintendo stuff since they did just have like their own um like game release types of thing, their own game uh, expo. But yeah. I feel like that we need a little bit more time to do our own research on and see what yeah, we can actually to really talk dive about. into it for sure. No, yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. So if anything, we might even do a quick little bonus episode someday throughout the week if we're yeah, both up to it. Yeah. Um, but for now, this is what we got. And to start off start off with a little bit of anime weeb news um i mean well i did also just bring it up with nintendo um so crunchyroll is if well first of all if you don't know what crunchyroll is it is one one of the main like anime websites where you could do where they have a large variety and a large library of anime shows that you can watch this is mostly my number one website <laughs> Yeah, it's a streaming service pretty much for yeah. anime. It's an anime. Yeah, streaming. Funimation are probably the two biggest one, you know, yeah. that I could think of at least. Yeah. So, so um, I know you could get Crunchyroll on the Xbox. I believe it is also an application for PlayStation. And Nintendo just wanted to get in there. So you are now, literally right now, you could go to the, the, the Nintendo Switch store and download the Crunchyroll app to be able to watch your own animes on there. I feel like some kids are going to get in trouble with this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already picturing, you know, fucking kids. If they ever, I doubt they're allowed at school or whatever, these things. But like, imagine like a kid going home on a bus, he pulls the thing out on a bus. He pops his headphones on. Then you he's literally the screen's not even small either. It's not that small. No, right? it's not a small screen. So the, yo, who knows what they'd be watching, what kind of anime, right? Like, what if it's an inappropriate one? You know, oh, we God. know that there's like, you know, quote unquote fan service type of shows out yeah. there. Yeah. So oh, oh, if he's watching those type of things, you know. Yeah. Not even know. not even that, that they're going to <laughs> that type of like realm of those types of genres of anime but there's still even like some really gruesome, gruesome ones dude. too oh, like like tokyo ghoul dude that tokyo thing is ghoul is pretty it's pretty like is, dark um attack i know titan. i know it's not attack on titans pretty bloody i know it's not on crunchyroll because i've tried looking for it but if it was it like um what is it like a uh, corpse party 
is another oh, dark yeah. anime. Like I know yeah, the there's game. A, there's a lot of dark. Stuff the game there. is just like a a bit pixel game type of thing too, but it's so dark and like mm. very mm. detailed for a pixelated game. But <laughs> but yeah, so it is gonna. <laughs> but it is gonna be interesting seeing how. Like, yeah, like you said, kids who do watch animes now adapt to this. Because I remember even with us, like with the DSs, you could at least close it quick and hide it like in, your, in between your pillowcase and pretend you were sleeping. You just to, fucking throw it at someone. <laughs> for real. Like, <laughs> like, what do you do? For the Switch, is hard because so like you really have to like hold the power button and press sleep mode on it to like dim the lights even. <laughs> so It's like there's no hiding, bro. You gotta put all your shame out in the cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that, dope, uh-huh. though, that it's available to switch now. It's actually portable, though. You think yeah. oh, that's actually pretty cool? Like, it makes imagine it taking a switch and be able to go to like a fucking an airport or something instead mm-hmm. of using your phone power, or using your switch as well. Exactly. So that's, um, that's yeah, dope. that was my main thing. Like when I saw this, I was like, "Yes, I don't have to fully kill my phone now every time I want to yeah. watch it." <laughs> so I was like, "Yo, that's, that's clutch. That's actually pretty clutch." Yeah, yeah. You charge two devices now. To, oh yeah, to watch that's now and extra and extra shit. chargers, and I have to carry with me. But but still, and, and yeah. extra protectors too to like keep yeah. the device safe if I slips out of my hand. <laughs> back, back, bro. Uh, no, they have like little cases that you can like stuff it in and like the extra oh, games true. and stuff. But yeah, I feel it's just an extra thing you now have to carry with you. You got me? Yeah. Yeah. One more thing to worry about. Yes. <laughs> Unreal, dude. Yes. But sticking with the whole Crunchyroll anime uh, thing, um, this is recently an anime I just watched. Um, it's called The Rising of a Shield Hero. It is actually, in my personal way, the way I would explain it, it is a weird combination of sword art online and overlord because mm-hmm. it is a person from the real world getting pulled into this weird video game world, There's having so to level up. Like yeah, There's well, so many shows. But it, it, yes, there's so many shows, but very few are actually really good at them. Yeah. Um, now, the three I could think of, top of my head, is definitely this one that I've heard so much that people recommend mm-hmm. watching it. Um, I, the time I got reincarnated as a slime monster. That's on my watch. I watched list. it. I watched it right. Is I it? watched all three seasons. It is fantastic. Yes. It is fucking good. <laughs> it's so fucking good. And oh, of it, course, yeah. Over Overlord. Overlord, yeah. Um, but yeah, I recommend Sword Art Online. It is more of like a Romeo Juliet love story type of vibe to it. But every other aspect to it, like the fighting scenes, and it's very colorful and bright and sounds like are very good on it as well. Um, but yes, Rising of a Shield Hero, I I'm not kidding. I just watched it in like a day and a half. Um been watched. <laughs> it is it's a longer season compared to more seasons. Most seasons are like 12 episodes at least. Um this one is actually 25 episodes long. Ooh, yeah. That's always clutch, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and only the first episode's like 40, 45 minutes long, and then it goes back oh, to 20 at 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes per episode. Damn. Um but yeah, it's really good. Like very the beginning is very irritating, but because there is like so much with with the main character going on with like it started off, it starts off super strong, like everyone just being against the protagonist. Um like it is very irritating, like people are just stupid, but it actually leads up like it's really good how they just started off like that because it leads up to so much for the rest of the story and where like the storyline goes. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's actually like a like you want you hate the antagonist at first because of all the things he's doing mm-hmm. or the things he's saying or interacting. Mm-hmm. But then you slowly realize like the things he's doing and why he's doing it and stuff like that. Like it was necessary. Into yeah, yeah. To set the rest of the storyline. Exactly. Oh, I think. I like to. I like that premise. I yeah. definitely need to give it, give it a watch myself, dude. Yeah. Um, but yes, there is a season two coming 
up if you do watch the anime or want to give yourself time to watch the anime. Um, season two, as of right now, is reported to be released in April of 2022. So that gives people about two months to watch it. Well, I want to I want to say about two months, but it's probably less watch time it days before it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, do. if you got the time, go ahead. But <laughs> I'll binge watch it. Don't worry. Like everyone else does. <laughs> they went till the full seasons out and then binge watch the shit out of it. <laughs> I mean, well, there's a lot of animes coming out with an extra season that I mean, just the first season was so good and leaves so many questions unanswered, like Overlord, like the rising of a shield hero, but it ends off like in such a perfect spot where they could literally go off in different Any directions. Direction. Yeah, they uh-huh. could literally like the story could literally go anywhere. I exactly. Love that too. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. Or like it leaves it able enough where they could their filler episodes still answer other questions that were left unanswered. Mm-hmm. So For it's example, like, like yeah. So it's yeah. not like yeah. some filler episodes where they're just completely out of the blue, like just oh, this random thing happened. No, like okay, it's a filler episode, but it's answering a question that we left unanswered before. That or that filler episode is going to answer a question we were, we're going to ask in the future, like, oh, my God, why did they do that? And then you reference that one random ass episode yeah. that came back with, like, oh, that's where he's from. Or like, oh, yeah. that's why he did that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be like Naruto where there's that oh, there's, one, yeah. one episode <laughs> where I think it's like uh, team... Um, my, no, not Team Seven. I forget what yeah. team. I think they were Team Ten. Uh, ten, Ten, Neji, Rockley, and oh, Mike Guy. I think yeah, they're Team Eight. Yeah, no, Team Eight is uh, what no, is it Shikamaru, you know, Shikamaru. and Shoji. Yeah, what, were, what? I forget what team they were, but anyway, yeah. it's that one episode where them and Naruto go up against the 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 sensei that ended up wanting Naruto to steal that scroll from the beginning. Yeah. He was like, like unnecessary, unnecessary. Yeah. And he was randomly able to transform to some weird tiger beast thing. Yeah. Like, he comes back fuck. just for revenge, but gets defeated so quickly. So what the fuck was the point of it that? It was dude? so unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, what is the point of this episode? Yeah. There's a lot of episodes that Andre told me to skip. He's like, yo, you can literally skip like, episodes from i i forgot we literally skipped like i think the first the like the naruto not shoot uh not shippuden uh, not shippuden yeah i think we skipped like six yeah 30 episodes or so dude in total see I'm at like, least God, damn <laughs> at least andre told you i literally yeah. watched every episode oh, <laughs> i watched filler and all dude, i definitely think i want to go back and watch shippuden though i think I yes i think shippuden will be so good to watch again bro the thing is i think y'all i might try to go for the dub version dude i might buy the cd and get the fucking dubs yeah i mean just to that. see the difference because don't be wrong it's fucking fantastic and it's like in the sub of course like you know it's fucking sounds epic as fuck yeah but obviously they can't say certain words or even like translations don't always translate as well. Yeah. Because in when it's subbed, the translations are made by Americans for Americans. When it's dubbed, it's still translated by the main language that it made in for. So they try to get the more accurate translation. Of course, yeah. Because, like, obviously, like, in Spanish, there's not full translations for everything. Like, we could say one word, but to translate that to English, it's like a whole sentence. I get you, yeah. See, like, even, like, the, the, this is my favorite example to things that don't translate, is we always say, buen provecho. Yeah, like, that's thank you for the meal, yeah. Thank you for the meal. But still that like that, like that doesn't fully translate in English. Exactly. Because it's like, it, okay, oh, can you translate that? Oh yeah, it's bon appetit, but that's French. Yeah. And then no real the, thing. and then Japanese say itadakimas. So it, yeah. it's like, yeah, there's other translations that fit well, but not all of it trans well to certain languages, aka yeah, English. <laughs> so, no, no, hundred percent, dude. So yeah, and then sometimes we'll even within the, the Spanish, even within the Spanish language itself, there's certain words that other 
Hispanics or other countries don't use as well. Yeah. All right. We're going off a tangent there. But but so yes. <laughs> well, no, not really, because I mean translations and anime, everybody watches anime different. So everybody's experience is, is a little bit different, whether it's That's subbed true. or dubbed. So yeah. But yeah. Um talking about all this anime stuff, like how our freaking friend Andre said that they already freaking announced uh season three of Demon Slayer. Yes. That's crazy, dude. They literally just wrapped up season two and they're like, yo. Already season green three is for coming, season dude. three. Yeah, season three is coming, bro. It's you guys so fucking good. killed it in views for the second season. Yeah. We're straight up going for season three. Be like, oh shit. And again, like budget is a big thing in like animes and stuff. And the fact that they have enough of their budget or they save enough of their budget for these awesome fight scenes, which is like a majority of every season in Demon yeah, Slayer. Literally, dude. <laughs> it is fight, so dude. good. If you haven't caught up to season um, the Entertainment District arc for it's Demon Slayer, rock. <laughs> oh my god, like it's fucking good. It is Bro, like, even if you're not an anime person, dude, it is fucking visually appealing, dude. Yes. It is just visually a spectacular thing to say. Yeah, that was the whole thing with your with your older sister. Your sister's not an anime person, but she watched Demon Slayer because it was good storytelling, very beautiful art style. Freaking like Miles, good. bro, or freaking guy from mm. Japan. This guy doesn't watch anime at all. Like, he doesn't fucking know anything about all this yeah. stuff. And he, we made him watch it. And he said, like, it was really good. Yeah, and he's already fully he caught up. It. He's just waiting for he's the... He's buying the merch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sent a picture that he bought a little a little, a little figurine of... That's a of N- Nezuko, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's crazy, bro. I know. You hooked him. <laughs> that's what yes. anime does. <laughs> And um, speaking of being hooked on shows and stuff, if you are not hooked on Stranger Things as well, you have also been living under a rock. I've been living under the sea, <laughs> I've been living under the sea clearly, dude. Everyone tells me, dude, I know, bro. I know, and I still won't watch it. Yes. So... <laughs> Um, Stranger Things is a Netflix original show where the last season, season three, was in 2019. I think, Letcher, you you corrected me on. Yeah. Yeah. So 2019. So this was before Miss Rona hit the entire world. Um, (laughs) So Stranger Things has obviously been in a hiatus. But they just recently announced that season four is up and ready. Um, and we're actually getting it a lot sooner than we that we might think. Yeah. So Stranger Things season four will premiere in May of May 27th. Uh, but the fourth season is so long they're pretty much cutting it into two seasons. So it's going to be season four A and season four B, um, mm-hmm. if that makes it more clear for whoever. So, okay. As of fr- uh, starting on May 27th, we are going to get season four A. Obviously, give it a few weeks so people could watch the episodes and catch up and be ready. And the fi- And five weeks later, um july 1st we are gonna get season four b pretty, um, pretty much they're doing the model of how um the walking dead usually does it i know the usually, walk i know walking dead had a very doing that yeah yes for doing yeah that. they're in their seasons literally down the middle pretty yeah much. yeah so see yeah walking dead uh does that regularly and they're it's very popular with them um, I believe even Teen Wolf, a much older, not much older show, but um, a little more further back in time. They also did it, I believe, for their final season and it worked out amazingly. And I was a big Teen Wolf fan. <laughs> so, yes, I will say it worked out very well. I think for them it builds a well. hype when they do that, though. They oh, very much. They're like, oh, shit, like, oh, damn, like, where is this going? You know, the suspense builds, especially if you leave it in a fucking cliffhanger, you know, 
teeth biting, edge of the seat type of thing at it. Like if they leave it like that, of course people are gonna want it to win in. You know what they're doing. Yes. <laughs> um <laughs> so season four, um, they do there is a little trailer out already. It is a very quick trailer, but there are other trailers. Well, other channels, obviously, that go a little bit more into depth of breaking it down. Um, I do know that we do start off. I mean, well, Stranger Things obviously makes a lot of references to other um, other 1900s, like horror films and genres as well in the universe. In this one, they are focusing a little bit more on Freddy Krueger because not only um, are there like internal references of the whole storyline, because part of it will be, I think the intro starts in the in the 50s. Um, we are actually getting the main actor um, to be a Robert part. Edwin. Yes, to be a part of the season as well. So I know you're a big, horror, slightly horror, big horror fan, Lich. Um, so is this any way going to get you to see how the season might work? I think I'm going to wait until the entire series and the entire series and go. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you won't have to like wait for anything else because apparently this season four slash season four A B um, is apparently going to be is apparently might not fully confirmed <laughs> um, that it might be the end, the full wrap up of the Stranger Things series. Well, I mean, it says here that the series will end officially end with season five. So there will be a fifth season. Oh, okay. It says. But I see that that's where I'm <laughs> being very confused on if they're going to consider the second half of season four to be so. season if, five if they still say season four with that like if this with the split and it's still season four then no it is all of that together even like part like you said for a and b it's still one season unified season you get me so okay yeah, yeah. i see what you're saying now okay yeah so, so yeah. it's definitely I mean, that's good. So, I mean, so we are still going to get a season, season. five. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, to wrap it up, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the upside down, what happens with 11 and the boys, because a little bit of a spoiler, um, which I mean, do you mind if I spoil a little bit for you? No, you're no. good. So at the end of season three, we ended with 11 uh, moving away from the town and leaving the boys behind obviously they are their friends and there's going to be some sort of emotional connection that brings them together but the beginning poster if you if you haven't seen it um well first of all in the trailer we see just about everybody except for uh, we don't see 11 we don't see hopper um I'm forgetting Eleven's boyfriend's name and his mom. Um, we don't see them really at the begin uh, anywhere on the trailer, but they're a big part of the entire series, so it's weird on where they are. And if you haven't watched, there is a little a few images um, where it is the the rift to the upside down and mm -hmm. all four sides away from it are different, like long hallways or long paths with different people all around. So it could be them being connected through the rift um, and finding their way together through that. Or there's even a possibility that there might be some weird time traveling aspect to this one. So it might make Stranger Things even stranger, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get weird and weird. It, it, pretty much. So I, I definitely want to, they just nuke everything just to end it all, start fresh. <laughs> That's the end of season five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But sticking with the Netflix um, pattern sure. as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what I'm super excited about. <laughs> um, 
So Netflix is partnering up with Take Two to make a Bioshock film. We've spoken about Netflix and making these adaptations before. Yeah, especially video games. Especially video games. Oh. But... Oh. I mean, there's no, uh, there's still no like direct um, people listed in in the whole development of it yet. These are just they're gonna work on it in the future. Yeah. Um, the real yeah. question is though, right? If it's a movie, what place are they choosing, right? Is the universe of Bioshock pretty much takes place in three tangent spots, in my opinion, right? It takes yes. place either on the underwater section of Rapture, Rapture. Rapture. You got the district of the Sky City of Columbia, mm-hmm. or you could go the scenic route and be the cosmic force of the fucking the lighthouse itself. You mm-hmm. get me? And be in both places at once. Exactly. So that's the real question on what place, in my opinion, go with the OG, right? Go yeah. with the OG. Go with the underwater. Fucking give us a big daddy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, Not even yeah. that. Give us a plane crash in the middle of the ocean and finding this lighthouse. If the film does not start with a giant no, it, boom it won't, and though. a guy I wouldn't, mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing an original story either, though. Because that's the yeah. nice thing about Bioshock. It's like the world's there. You just gotta, you know, you gotta fucking actually like do something with it, right? Yeah. You give us actual characters we fucking need to care about, right? Actual characters. And really the only thing the game does is give you specific parameters you have to meet. Like we always say, there's always a lighthouse, there's always a girl, and there's always a mechanical something protecting that's for, the little that's girl. For, that's if you're doing Columbia. I'm talking about if we're that's if you're going no. that route. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it gives you specific parameters you have to find or follow. Because, yeah, we could still somehow see the little sisters with the big daddy. uh, That's what I'm saying. Like, they they give us new characters. Like, right. It's not characters that there are not part of this, like, world, pretty much. Right. That are not part of this at all. But they're in the same universe, if that makes sense. You get me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, like, like, I don't want us to be like... I wish they gave us a name for the first antagonist, did they? Uh, yeah, oh we, we literally spoke about this last time, and I can't believe we still don't was remember. It, it was an Ethan, right? No. no. I feel like that's Resident Evil. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's confusing the name. Yeah, Ethan, for Bioshock, uh, Jack. Jack. Jack, there you go. Okay. But yeah, if you're not Jack or book uh booker Booker do it yeah like i'm fine with that i want us to be different people you got me like this world is so fucking vibrant dude you could be anyone and place them anywhere in this universe (laughs) we could have an ethan we could (laughs) we could have an ethan hopefully not moldy as fuck like in (laughs) that's true that's true spoilers (laughs) but but yeah no you're right and it's definitely like Again, if we do see like a big daddy or something, it could be kind of rated R. Because again, Dude, people, no are, way. people yeah. are going crazy. People are killing each other. There's guns. There's knives. People are it's like a lawless yeah. fucking underwater city. Yeah. And but even Rapture is the complete opposite because it's like Columbia is the opposite. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my bad. Columbia is the complete opposite. It's like a whatever, like a, a cultish religious. Mm-hmm. Place, but even much. still, those things they like. I know there's things with like cults. Like, if you do try to leave, it's pretty much death at point. That's your only yeah. way of leaving a cult. Um, and so yeah, it, yeah, it can be very a very dark show. So it's gonna start all bright and sunshine, but then it takes the twist and turn mm-hmm. of like the real face of what you're actually like the reality of the place. Exactly. So like, um, I think that's the whole concept of like literally Bioshock. And I, I'm like, if they do that well, then it's already a winner, right? Exactly. Just need some. They need a good writer and director for sure, 100 percent to fucking kill it out of the park with this. Yeah, it's yeah, I know. It, and again, like I'm gonna be very iffy about it, but I I really want to have high hopes for this. You got me. Bring my Bioshock back. Give them an actual reason to make my Bioshock four. 
and and <laughs> Yo, straight up. remake yeah. the original Bioshocks and bring back the Bioshock merch because a lot of that merch looked really good before. I just mad that it's to find like a Funko Pop Big Daddy or a uh, Funko Pop Songbird is now like a hundred something <laughs> dollars anywhere. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Dude, even if it's an animated film, I think it will be fucking fantastic as an animated film. Oh, yeah. They oh, could yeah. go all in. They could literally make it all fucking goofy yeah. and all that shit. Mm-hmm. They could go straight up like fucking like... Uh, just even, but yeah, exactly. Even but animated. I want a real life Big Daddy. I want to see how yes. they actually do oh, that shit. That'd be so good. Obviously, it's going to be CGI. Or a big... Or actually have that... See that Big Daddy and that uh big... What was it? The big sister? The older the sister? sister. Fight. Have, have a fight together. Dude, just the hype. Just even picturing that would be I fucking know. dope and it's realistic. Crazy. Like, oh fuck. We'll see, dude. I know. We'll see what they do. Uh, I know. Yeah, you gotta keep it optimistic though. Gotta That's keep those. Right. I know. <laughs> but speaking of an actual movie that is coming out on May 6th. Uh, reality bending and reality bullshit. bending exactly <laughs> uh, we got a trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Ooh. which what a trailer dude I know it, 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 it's, it's a very good much. trailer it's too much there's so much in this fucking thing dude mm-hmm. like I even went I even went through with Esby the first time we watched it real quick because he had to go and stuff like mm-hmm. that but I rewatched it after that in half speed dude just to see, like, if I missed anything. <laughs> I feel like that's what you have to do for any for any more Marvel verse uh, trailer at this point. You have to go in half speed, <laughs> or either that or quarter speed, <laughs> or quarter speed even. Yeah, some Everything's some scenes stuff. are very quicky still too. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, there is so much to unpack in this trailer, dude. Yes, but at the same time, it's like. I don't want to spoil anything, dude, for myself. <laughs> no, but I mean, but at this point, we more- could just make quick assumptions, too. Yeah. You get me? Because so there's definitely two villains, like 100%. There's two things going on, right? Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. And we see the, the what's his name? Fuck, the sorcerer from the first movie but that goes rogue come back to us here and mm-hmm. punishes us and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. So um, I think that's one of the first major plots that we probably face in my mm-hmm. in the movie, I think. And then we even made a couple of assumptions with Esvin last time we were talking about uh, WandaVision, where we do see kind of that weird tentacle, one-eyed monster yeah. villain thing as well. So and they showed him. They pretty much confirmed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot what his name is. Fuck. I know our, our our knowledge for this right now is kind names, of everywhere. Dude. We will have a whole Marvel episode again. Dude, there's just so many names to remember. Yes, bro. it's too many. It's too many. Yeah, too many names. Too many comics. Too many storylines. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah, dude. bro. And the thing is, they hint as well, bro. And almost at the very end, if you, I don't know if you're looking at the trailer. I am right now. <laughs> so towards the end, uh, let me see. Let me give you the exact time when he's getting arrested it's not the end is it it is not so like at 117 when he's getting arrested pretty much and they're talking to him those people and you see there's seats there right Uh huh. so you know how this is multiverse like a multiverse thing so Esbeen tells me that this is quote unquote like from the Marvel comics and everything this is the illuminati but this is like the multiversal un- illuminati pretty much like the uh, big brains no. pretty much of all of the multiverse like we're gonna have like the smartest strongest iron man we're gonna mm-hmm. have even probably professor xavier even fucking be in that mm-hmm. in that thing as well yeah and other like members of the you know, like a different um doctor strange as well potentially and stuff like that I mean, yeah, that's we what, have different Lokis already. Yeah, exactly. So that's not even out of the question, right? Like, it's even stupid. To <gasps> One of the Lokis is on there. Maybe, dude. Who knows? Seriously, like, fuck. Who knows? And then, oh. uh, the speculation is that fucking Tom Cruise plays that uh, one. Oh Iron Man. God! Yeah, I've been hearing that. <sighs> they kind of leaked Cruise. it. I think a little bit. They kind of leaked it. He's gonna be in the. <laughs> 
wants in on that Disney money, bro. Come I on. know. Yeah, it's I mean, well, just about everybody does. But my thing is just like, I'm so done with Tom Cruise. Like, I feel like there's not something that we could watch now without there being a joke or a reference or he's just blatantly on the screen of Tom Cruise. And it's like, what do you mean? I don't <sighs> never get enough tom cruise <laughs> i'm getting enough tom cruise you know who it's, it's like one of those tired of seeing too much the cool. rock see yeah exactly exactly that's my the point rock exactly. is in too many places it's it's starting to get like that for me with tom cruise okay i get you i get you okay like like with him and like yeah uh the rock I know there was like a moment where like J-Lo was just about in everything as well, like quick scenes or something or her own films and stuff and music. And it's like, it was too much. Yes, it was. And it's like, like (laughs) I'll support. I'm a fan. Cool. But like, take a breather, man. Like, shit. I don't think think about your family for a moment. (laughs) Take a break. You need the break. Yeah. We, need, we need the break. We need the break. We need fresh air. It's not you, it's me. I promise. <laughs> I promise it's me. <laughs> oh gosh. Yo, but go back to the trailer. We see Wanda in there as well. Mm-hmm. Like, who knows what, what which she's coming in with her own uh powers and bag like of, of yo supposedly shit. this this roster is supposed to be fucking huge of like of entities of freaking enemies, good guys of all proportions supposed to be coming out. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. I'm like, holy fuck. I, I can't know. wait, dude. <laughs> I know, I no. know. And again, there are other videos on YouTube anywhere with even more breakdowns, their own speculations and, and assumptions and stuff. So if you do like watching that type of stuff, I know I am. Um, oh, I definitely dude. recommend to go and watch them. Oh my um, god, dude. that's probably gonna be one of the most hyped movies, second to the uh, the Spider One, the Spider Man yes. one for sure, hundred percent. Unless this one beats it, if this one manages to beat it, bro, holy fuck, <laughs> that's gonna be impressive. Yeah, two big ass Marvel movies back to back, and we still got two more this year, bro. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Oh, dude. and I mean the year's only starting. We don't know bro, what else they're gonna announce and stuff. Kidding me, bro, bro, this is nuts. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's also very big Sorry. and fun for the nerds out there, aka yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, we got a show in March in between to hold us up. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's go. Let's go. I know. <sighs> But I mean, that's really it from my end. I don't know if you got anything. Anything aside from mm-hmm. from what we have on our articles and stuff. The one thing I could probably say that I probably want to input definitely let us know whoever picked up uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the the second one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us know how that is as a game. Because we're definitely going to talk about it next week for sure, 100%. Oh, yeah. Just to see, because uh, I know a lot of people are going to be playing that game and it's going to be probably exciting. So, yeah, see that gameplay stuff as well. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I did just remember about one thing. Um, I know a couple weeks ago I spoke about um, The Ring Girl was coming to Dead by Daylight. Mm. Um, and I mean, she is already on the test build of it. Um, it is called Ringu. Um, Ringu. Yeah, Ringu. She is already on the test build of Dead by Daylight. So it is just like where they do implement new characters and new um, new character, new killers, new survivors, and new uh, perks that they use. Um, and like I said last time, uh, there is like who would the survivor was going to be that was going to come with Ringu. Um, and why is it Ringu and not the ring? Uh, and I did do a little bit. So that was the thing. It is from the original book story that was then made into the films. So yeah, it, it, it was original. It is originally called Ringu. And that translates to ring or the ring as we see it. Hmm. Um, And even still then, our main character 
and I might butcher this name. Hold on. Is it right? Hold on. Is this the right name? Did I <laughs> there you go. The, the, the name of the survivor is Yoichi Asakawa. Yeah, I would butcher the shit out of <laughs> Yoichi Asakawa. Um, I think that's a good pronunciation. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that actually sounded good. Sounded I watch good. a lot of anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, straight up, dude. Fuck. I hear that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that is our survivor who is the main uh, protagonist or the main person of the book and the original uh, film that they made based on the book as well. So, yeah, he's also going to come with his own set of perks. Like I said, uh, the test build is already out. Um, Ringo already has her killing move, her Mori, as we call it in the game. Um I know there's videos all over YouTube right now with specific Dead by Daylight um, uh, YouTube creators. The same way there's Fortnite creators, there's YouTube creators, uh, Dead by Daylight and Wait, Minecraft really? creators. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's definitely a lot of gameplay of them right now. So I definitely go recommend to watch it. I think Komori looks fucking sick. It is so good. Like... Obviously, it's like the TV type of thing. So she is like, there is one part of her where she is invisible because she is in her in her TV form, as we call it, where mm. you do see like the old school lines going up and down your screen. Like it, it gets a little like fuzzy in certain fuzzy. areas. Oh, you get like the, what is it called? The sleeping foot effect? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the sleeping foot effect. That is so good. Or the sleeping arm. Yeah. That is so good. The, forget- the sizzle that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Yeah. The static. Yeah. There so that is the word I was thinking static. Of. Yeah. So that is a lot of her aspects, like when she is hitting a generator or oh. breaking a pallet or whatever. And her Mori, if you haven't watched, is really cool. Um, so she, with the weird staticky stuff, she lifts the person up. She breaks one arm. She breaks one leg, which is the first time that we actually see kind of like bone popping out of one of these survivors. Yeah. Um, So yeah, she breaks an arm. She breaks a leg. They fall on their back on the ground and then it zooms into her face. The the cool one eye through her long black wet hair. And they die after that. And then it's, she's stopping their heart. And like, yeah, that's the whole more. And it looks really good. It's so funny, too, because you're not expecting when the camera just zooms into her face or her oh, eye shit. through the hair. <laughs> yeah. But it's like a cool reference that everybody knows. Everyone knows when they see it the- goes straight to her eye. Yeah. Like yeah. If you look into her eyes, you're dead. Yeah. And so that is very, it's very funny. cool to watch if you do watch a quick, uh, quick gameplay of her. Yeah. Video of her. Nice. Um, and that's actually for me at that point. That was my last thing. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's nothing else, Leche, where can people find you? You can find me at uh, Leche Munoza on Instagram. Or you guys can follow my Twitch at Technofreak95. And how about you, Tito? And then I am also on Instagram at One Alpha Penguin. And I am also on Twitch at One Alpha Penguin. You guys can follow the podcast on Instagram at at take a sip underscore pod and go to the YouTube channel. If that is where you listen to these episodes, uh, youtube.com forward slash take a sip. Uh, as always, the logo we have on there are the same across all the platforms. And Leche <laughs> is his dumb face on his thing. And then my <laughs> alpha penguin logo <laughs> is on, is on all of my stuff. <laughs> Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for listening. We will see you guys next week or maybe even earlier if we do mm-hmm. get something. Yep. And drink some water, some fresh air. It is starting to warm up up here in the Northeast region. So get them short shorts ready. I like how you say that. And then it's going to snow next week. I know. That's <laughs> literally what happened last week. That's going to happen this ago. week, sadly. Is it again? Yeah. Unfortunately. No. I'm tired yeah. of this. Bad news snow. for the Boston area. I know. See, the, all the snow would have been useful in December for Christmas to make it feel more like Christmas. Straight up. 
and now we're getting it all in January, February. Bruh. <laughs> we're going to probably get some in March, unfortunately, too. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Boston weather, everybody. Boston weather. New England weather. <laughs> New England weather, exactly. Like straight up, dude. <laughs> and we'll see you all next week. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> yeah, guys. Oh, shit.